Okay, part three. Um, just recap where we are. We started off with um, a template or a, a steel section which we cut out with our very sharp laser. Um, we then cut out the micarta and G10 spacers. That was epoxied together. Then that was cut out. And the other side of the sandwich was glued on. So then we got the uh, the two two sides of the sandwich, if you like, with the with the steel in the middle. What I've just done is I've just trimmed round just so there's less to uh, to route out where we where I routed out the um, the top layer because the amount of dust was um, amazing. So. I want to minimise that, that amount of dust, it's uh, not pleasant to work in. So that's where we are now, I'm going to route that out and um, get it smooth and then going to round it over again with the router. Okay, so this is what we got now. We've got the over-rounded catapult looking quite smart now. You can see the, um, the, the green in between the micarta and the stainless steel, the G10. Um, this looks quite silver now. I'm going to see if I can do anything about that to, uh, to make it go a bit more black. I'll think about that. Uh, just an important note, I didn't put the pins in before I routed the the round, um, over-rounded it with the router, simply because here, for instance, if I had put the steel pins in and the router had caught them, which it would have done, you can see the line goes through it, it's just like not sensible to have steel in the router. It's so dangerous if the router catches that and throws it out at you it's traveling at right right of knots and if you do do this yourselves really be careful about the with the steel core make sure that doesn't touch the router it's uh, it will grip and it will throw it back at you and you know it's just dangerous but that's what we've got so far next job now is to put the pins in um, with the epoxy resin and then get those um, ground flush and then we're not far away from the finished catapult. Okay, that'll be in part. Okay, I've ground the pins down now. Used um, the Dremel to cut the excess off and then the uh, bench grinder to get them down close and then the, the sander, the um, flatbed sander just to uh, get them down to level with the with the um, the micarta. I've got a deburr inside the holes because they're hollow pins. That's easy enough. And now just uh, hand sanding and see what happens. So I'm sure you don't want to watch two hours of me hand sanding. So I'll turn the video off. Okay, I've been sanding for a while now. This is how it looks. Definitely a sort of silvery colour. The green's starting to 
stand out well. I'll take some still photographs later. But I'm very, very pleased with the way it's looking now. Looks more military than I expected. Um, yeah, really pleased with it.